Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to Nikara Techies. This is our ASP.NET Core tutorial version is 6.0. So part of this video, I am going to explain role based authentication. So in my previous videos, I am just explained basic authentication and JWT token based authentication. So this is the continuation of JWT token based authentication. First, let me explain what is role based authentication. So this role based authentication is nothing but restricting this access permission based on the roles of individual users. So in the real time web application may have the different roles. So it may be admin and super admin and some other roles also. The admin user may have the permission for all the models but other users have the limited access. They have the permission restriction based on the models. In some models they have only the read access. They don't have any uh, changing access like uh, creating the new records and also changing they don't have any permission so like that we have some restrictions so for this role based authentication I listed out all the steps we can go one by one the first one is complete the steps for JWT authentication so as I mentioned this is the continuation of my last video so uh, we have to follow all the steps so I am going to give some overview about this JWT token based authentication so this JWT authentication basically have two important sections. One is for generating the token and another one is for accessing this token. So for generating the token, I have created one of the method is called authenticate. So it requires the input is credentials. So once I got the credentials, I am checking against this databases. So the record is invalid. I am just returning unauthorized error. In case if it's valid, I am generating this access token. And here I am setting this uh, expiration time and we need to include one security key also that actually I include in the app settings.json. So using this all information I am generating the token and finally I am returning it. Now the one part is completed and I am having one created controller. So this is one of the product controller. So here I am just enabling this authorization using this authorize attribute. So whenever I am trying to access this particular services, I have to pass this token in the authorization header. So the system will validate whether the token is valid or not. For that, I am just enabled this authentication here. See, uh, we have some token validation parameters. Based on that, it will verify our token. If So if everything is goes well, it will allow to access our resource. That's all about the JWT authentication. So for doing this role based authentication, we need to do our changes from our token creation time. In the token creation time, we have included this climb part. In the climb, I just added one of the unique information as the name. So here we need to specific one more information is called roles. So let me copy the same content. I'm going to add one more climb. So in the climb type, I'm going to use the role. So then we have to pass the role information. So let me show my database structure. So basically I have the two tables. Uh, one is the role table. So in the role you just see admin, staff and user. There are three roles I am having. And the user point of view, I have three users. So each users have the separate role. So admin user have the role as admin and demo user having the role as user. Staff user having the role as staff okay this is the concept so once i'm got the credentials i am able to access this table user table so here i can get this role information so the role is available in the name of role okay now i am added this role also in our client so this is the first step next let me go to the controller so in the controller already i am having this authorized attribute here I am going to pass one of the parameters called role. Role I am trying to give as the admin. Okay. So basically we can uh, do this authorization in the controller level or else uh, we can do in this action method level also. So you just to consider one scenario you are providing access to one of your user only for the readable access. That means you are giving the access for this get all method and get by code so you are restricting the user to access this remove and create method then you have to apply this authorization in this action method level let me explain you so first we can start from our controller level okay 
so I just enabled it now I'm going to run this application okay let me refresh this one and here I'm going to generate the token first admin user and my password is admin so it will generate the token okay it's done at the same way I need to access this product services so it's returning this 401 error so let me go to the postman so see already I'm having services here I'm going to include this authorization token see actually I'm getting this data now the same way I'm going to generate that token once again so instead of this admin user I'm going to give us the demo user and the password is demo so the credentials are valid so definitely it's going to create the token yes it's done and also let me show you the demo users role is just a user only but we have included only admin that means we are unable to access so this is my main API URL here I am going to give this access token see now we are getting 401 unauthorized so in the roles uh, basically we can include the multiple roles so let me include this uh, user also okay but I won't give this uh, user for the limited access so that means let me copy this admin once again I am going to this uh, remove side so in the remove method I am going to enable the authorization once again okay fine now see as the role of admin and users both they can access this product controller but in the product controller so get all and get by code they can access so once they are coming to this remove the admin user only can access so let me copy the same thing I have to include in my create I mean the post method also okay we have done it so let me run the application once again and we have to verify it okay application is running board so let me refresh it my first token is for staff user okay the token is generated so let me go into replace the token see I'm getting this 403 error so the request was legal request but the server is refusing that means uh, our token is valid only but we don't have an access for the particular resource that's what we are getting this 403 error so now I'm going to create the token for demo user So the demo user having the read access complete read access so let me replace the token once again see using this uh, demo user credentials I am able to access this get all method the same way I am going to take this create method so let me take the URL first so this is the URL let me go into create one more tab the method is post method and we have to pass the so input is in this JSON format 
so let me go into give it so newspaper so I'm on this just a file and the header information I'm going to use this authorization and our token is the BRA token and I have to generate the token once again so look like it's a valid only but anyway I'm trying to generate once again okay great so let me pass it here see I'm getting this 403 error the same credential I'm going to use for this get method so the get method I'm going to access and we have one more method is called get by code so here also we don't have any restriction see I am unable to access but this create method I don't have an access now let me come with an, this admin credential so let me copy this token here first let me go to the create method here I'm just going to replace the token that's it see now I'm getting this response is true and the status is 200 so if you want to verify I am just to go to this get all method also and here also I'm trying to give the same token only so see our new record is coming the newspaper that's what we have included it's coming and also I'm trying to access our uh, delete method also so we are unable to delete it's a format only error so let me copy the URL and the postman I'm going to open one more uh, new tab and method type is delete and this is the URL and our authorization header we have to include and the value is b error so finally we have to pass the token so I am going to use the same token only because the token expiration time is 20 minutes so it's valid only So see here I am getting the response is false but the response code is 200 it's fine only I think we yeah we have a record okay it's deleted but the response is returning the false uh, maybe technically I think I have missed something so in the remove yeah actually I am returning the false only that's what I am getting this false so other than that uh, our application is completely working based on our access permission so this is all about this role based authentication so I am just going to give some overview what actually we have done so after completing our JWT authentication in the token creation time we have included this client type is role okay so after that in the control side in the authorize attribute we have passed the parameters parameter name is roles so here we can pass the multiple uh, role names so here I am added this admin and user the similar way using the comma separator you can add multiple operator so not only for the entire controller you can do in this for our action method also that, that's what I have included in the remove and also the create method the same way how actually you want you have to include according here also we can use the multiple roles using this comma separator so this is all about the role based authentication still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also I request you to subscribe my channel and also I want more support from your peoples for joining our membership thank you thanks for watching in my next video I am going to explain a refresh token concept thank you